Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Petita and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I'm bringing you my next update on my partner's cream project pan. This is the second last update before the finale. So next month will be the last update and then December will be the finale for 2022. I do have six products that I'm working on at the moment. My goal on these products is to use them up before the end of the year. I'm making pretty good progress on my products as a whole. Uh, so we will go through that progress in a moment, but before we get into that, if you are new around here and you want to keep update on this project pan and any of my other project pans that I'm doing this year, then make sure you're subscribed down below. And without further ado, let's jump on in to the update. I'm working on a range of products at the moment. I have six products. So I have a cream blush. I have a cream bronzer contour product. I have a lip liner, an eyeliner, a cream shadow and a glitter glue <laughs> that's what it's called so we'll start off with the glitter glue so i have the Too faced glitter glue in here and i am still just slowly plodding away at this one we are sitting i think about halfway now maybe a bit under half bit over halfway so i'm definitely not going to have this one finished before the end of the year but maybe, maybe I can get it done next year. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to continue on keeping this in the rotation and just use it when I need to use it. And hopefully we'll see an end to this sometime soon. Next up, we have my little stealer. This is the Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow in the color Embellish. Now I'm trying to use this one up before the end of the year. So I have used this one an additional five times this month. So not as many as I was hoping. Last month was nine. I was hoping to get up to nine again, but I think five uses is still a very good amount of uses to do in a month, especially given that it's like a liquid cream shadow type product. So that takes me to a total of 14 uses. I am kind of coming to the realization that I don't know whether I'm going to have this one finished before the end of the year. I think I'm going to have to maybe switch things up a little bit if I am going to be successful with that goal. So I will definitely keep tracking keep my progress i'm hoping to keep it between that five to nine uses each month if i can get another what are we we're doing two more updates if i can get maybe another 20 uses out of it that's very ambitious but if i could get maybe another 20 uses out of it i might be able to see it finish before the end of the year it's kind of very much on the line whether I'm going to get that one finished before the end of the year or not. Then we move in to my eyeliner. This is the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in Viva Veneto. So this is how, how much we have left. So I only used this one an additional one time this month, taking me to three uses in total. But you will see from the progress pictures that I did actually use up quite a lot of this one over the past month. And that's because when I went to sharpen this one, a big like chunk of it kind of flew out when I took it out of my sharpener and it landed on the floor, of course. So I had to basically kiss goodbye to a decent portion of this one. And also the bit that came out was like past the bit that was sharpened. So I had to sharpen it again to get back to the eyeliner. So I've made a little bit more progress on this one than I have been purely based on my misfortune, but it still means that we are getting through it. We're getting there eventually. I've only used it one extra time. I don't think I'm going to have this one done unless that happens again, where I discover a broken bit and it flies out of the, the eyeliner. Unless that happens again, I don't think I'm going to have this one finished by the end of the year um, because I've only used this one three times. Now, the next three products are the ones that I've probably been using the most consistently. I've got the most amount of uses on these products over the last month. So we'll start off with this one. This is my Becca Beach Tint in Watermelon Moonstone. I, I was really hoping that I allowed myself enough time to have this one finished by the end of the year. I don't think that's the case given how little I am using how little product I'm using 
versus how much I'm using it. So I've used this one 17 additional times since the last update. So basically almost every time I've done my makeup over the last month. And I've only used like, I think I calculated it was 30, 37 or 0.37 of a gram of this one. So I am not making much progress. This has 5.7 grams in it and I've only used 0.37 of a gram. I don't know how much I used of this before rolling it in. We'll see. We'll see how we go. I haven't reached a point where I can see the bottom of the jar yet. So I'm just going to keep on using it. See how I go. Maybe I can try and, I don't know, figure out another way to use it where I'm using a little bit more of it. Um, but it's not really the kind of color that I can use on my eyes or anything like that. I don't really like this kind of color on my eyes, but it does make a beautiful blush. It gives you like a really nice, super glowy, um, juicy, like cheek. It's, it's a beautiful color on the cheeks. So I'm sitting at like a total of 26 uses on that one since rotating it back in. Then moving on to my bronzer and I'm making pretty good progress on my bronzer as well. This is how much we have left. So it is almost at the point where it's not as wide as my palm, probably maybe one more sharpen and it will be smaller than the width of my hand. I've made really good progress on this one over the last month. I used it 14 times and I reckon I'm going to be very close to having this one finished by the finale. So I think next month, um, I'm just mindful because I have panned another two of these in the past. And once you get down to basically where the word Smashbox, which is about here, finishes, it kind of, there's not much left in the, the pencil, like the actual product in the pencil doesn't go all the way to the end. So I'm just mindful. I'm trying to remember how much of the bottom is basically like empty. So I reckon by the next update, I will be getting very, very close. So that'll be November update. And then I reckon maybe not long after the November update, I'll have this one finished. Maybe like one or two sharpens after the November update, this one will be gone. So fingers crossed, wish me luck. If I can have it done by the November update, that would be even better. And I'm up to a total of... 29 uses on that one so making very good progress again that's one product that I'm using basically every single time I use my makeup or do my makeup and then last but not least is my little lip liner and this little baby is getting so close to being finished I definitely think this one will be finished by the next update especially when you see how much progress I made it on it over the last month and I use this one an additional 13 times, which takes me to a total of 27 uses. And look how bloody tiny and adorable this thing is. It's so tiny. Um, if I'm not careful, I'm gonna lose this, but I definitely think it's gonna be done. It probably will be done maybe in a week or two, depending on how often I use it. But again, this is another product that I have been using very, very consistently almost every single time again I've done my makeup I've used this one to fully like fill in my lips and yeah I really like the color it goes really well with my hourglass lipstick that I have in my team project pan at the moment so it pairs nicely with that and I do think I'm going to have this one done by the next update and I think it's probably being a little bit ambitious but I think I will rotate one in to replace this if I get it finished between now and the November update, I might get a start on its replacement. But otherwise, I think I still will rotate something in at the November update and just use it for the month and see how much progress I can make on it. Even if maybe um, I might maybe think about rotating in one of my Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liners that I have that are in the mini size. That way, you know, there's a better chance that I will be able to have it finished by the end of the year. So that's that one. Very happy with my progress on this one. I'm very happy with my progress on my Partners in Cream overall this past month. I have really gotten my number of uses up really quite high. 
and I'm very happy with how much I am using the products in this project and I'm very happy with how they're fitting in with my other projects. I think they're, they're working really well with everything else that I'm working on at the moment. So that's my update on my Partners in Cream. Hopefully next month we have at least one empty. If we have two, I will be ecstatic, but um, I think that we will have definitely at least one. Let me know down in the comments how you are going on your cream products if you are focusing on them. While you're down there, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new around here and you enjoyed this video or you want to keep up to date on future projects, then make sure you're subscribed down below. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe, healthy, and looking after yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.